Sorry off the bat, but I am very fucking ill, but I want you to get this video done. Can this one wire save you big bucks when it comes to modding your N64 accessory? Let's find out. Before we get into the video, if you like this kind of thing, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. And let's get stuck in. So the N64 Rumble Pack was first released in 1997 and it came out with the game Star Fox 64. And I actually think this is the first kind of haptic feedback device that was ever released on like a grand scale. In the past I have done a video modding this very device, but it was a bit more complicated. We have to remove capacitors and resolder them to other points and things like that. But with this new method, you're able to just connect two points to get that battery free mod. All you need is one wire and some kind of beginner soldering skills. So once you've taken the thing apart, just get your soldering equipment out. And these are the two points you need to connect here. And it's just one wire, pre in here, pre in here, attach the two points, and then you're pretty much good to go. Now this was mostly just a thing out of curiosity, but I had this PlayStation 2 rumble just kind of lying about and I wanted to see if it would function in the N64 rumble pack. So this is the motor for it, and as you can see here, it's actually working. So I think it just needs to have the two points, the power on the ground, and it pretty much works. So that was just a kind of tester just to see if it worked, just made it curiosity, if anything. But with that curiosity quashed, I decided to reattach the, the original N64 motor now. And as you can see here, there's no batteries crashing into F0X. It works handy dandy. So I was going to put this thing back together now and give it a quick test. Now I think the only problem with this mod is you can only run two rumble packs instead of the four if you're not using batteries. Because I think the N64 can only supply so much power. So I think it's only two if you're using this mod. I think one's fine, I've no tried no try to because I've not got the second one, but if you're going to try it, just be aware, I don't think it works with the four. So everybody, please let me know down below, what do you think of this mod? Is this something you're going to try? Do you find this a useful feature, like a useful mod to save you some bucks on batteries? Personally, I think it's handy dandy, and I'm definitely going to try and use this as much as I can. So guys, please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one, and hopefully I'm all being sick. Bye for now.